Coming up, it's the first ever high school quiz show invitational with Barrington High School representing Rhode Island. Oh! And Andover High School representing Massachusetts. on the High School Quiz Show. Oh! The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. <laughs> Welcome to High School Quiz Show and the first ever Four State Invitational. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In today's matchup, this year's High School Quiz Show Massachusetts State Champions are taking on the winners of High School Quiz Show Rhode Island. The winner of this match will go on to play the winner of a match between High School Quiz Show Maine and New Hampshire's Granite State Challenge. And those two winners will go on to vie for the High School Quiz Show Invitational title. That is huge. So let's get right to it. We'll meet the teams. Today's matchup has Andover High School from Massachusetts taking on Barrington High School from Rhode Island. And on the Andover team, we have Ian, Frank, Neil, and Omkar with alternates Anurag and Ashwin and the coaches Alan Habino and Krista Habino. <laughs> and for the Rhode Island team, we have Daniel, Michael, Christina, and Clara with alternates Johnny and Brendan and coaches Robert Marley and Sam Schachter. <laughs> The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if everybody's ready, good luck. What US city was once known as New Amsterdam? Ian. New York City. Yes. What best-selling book by Victor Hugo inspired an 1844 restoration of Notre Dame Cathedral, which had fallen into ruin after years of neglect? Yes, Frank. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yes, in 1974. Who granted Richard Nixon a full pardon for any crimes he may have committed while in office? Yes, Neil. Ford. Yes. Known for her imitations of Hillary Clinton and Kellyanne Conway, what actress won an Emmy in 2017 for her work on Saturday Night Live? Yes, Neil. Polar. No, Rhode Island, you want to try it. Christina. Kate McKinnon. Yes, take a look at your screens. Uh, pictured here is Frances Perkins, the first woman to hold a cabinet position in the United States. She was appointed Secretary of Labor by what U.S. president? Yes, Daniel. FDR. Yes. Uh, what 12-letter word refers to the ability of dolphins to see with sound waves that bounce off nearby objects? Yes, Frank. Echolocation. Yes. In October 2017, President Trump expelled 15 diplomats from the United States. These diplomats were from what communist country in the Caribbean? Yes, Neil. DPRK. No, Rhode Island. You want to try it, Daniel? Cuba. Cuba is right. A tomboy who loves sports and wears shorts instead of a dress. What Peanuts character was created by Charles Schultz in response to the women's liberation movement of the late 1960s? Yes, Frank? Peppermint Patty. Yes. Before becoming president, Barack Obama was the junior U.S. senator from what state? Yes, Christina? Illinois. Illinois is right. Take a look at your screens. The next question is coming up. Hello. I'm Governor Charlie Baker, and here's my question. The American Industrial Revolution began in what Massachusetts city that was at the center of the nation's textile industry in the 19th century? 
Yes, Christina. Lowell. Lowell is right. Peter Pan, author J.M. Barry, was on the same amateur cricket team as what Sherlock Holmes author? Yes, I am. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Yes, in July 2017, what Japanese prime minister was grilled by the country's legislature over new allegations of cronyism? Yes, Clara. Shinzo Abe. Yes. Who wrote a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, one of the first novels to deal with time travel? Yes, Daniel. Mark Twain. Yes. Which of the following countries derives 78% of its electricity from nuclear power? Is it A, Japan, B, Russia, or C, France? Yes, Frank. A. No, you want to try it? Rhode Island. Daniel. C. C, France is right. Math question. Calculate the determinant of a two-by-two two matrix where the top row is four and five and the bottom row is two and three. Yes, Frank. Two. Two is the answer. Uh, what nonfiction book by John Krakauer is subtitled A Personal Account of the Mount Everest Disaster? Yes, Frank. Into thin air. Yes. From the Greek for away from the sun, what term describes the point in the orbit of the Earth when it is farthest from the sun? Yes, Neil. Apogee? No, Rhode Island. Yes, Michael. Aphelion. Yes. Many of the world's legal systems are based on what code laid down by a Byzantine emperor in the 6th century A.D.? Omkar. Hammurabi's code. No, Rhode Island. Try it. Christina? Justinian's code. Yes. Claiming it stokes violence in 2017, Israel moved to ban what media network based in Qatar? Yes, Ian. Al Jazeera. Yes. Take a look at your screens. The next question is coming up. Hi, this is Governor Gina Raimondo, and this is my question. Which constitutional amendment gave women the right to vote? Ian. 19th. 19th is right. In which of the following processes is heat energy absorbed? Is it A, melting, B, freezing, or C, condensing? Yes, Neil. Melting. A, melting is right. What European city plans to phase out all diesel cars by 2024 when it will host the Summer Olympics? Neil. Paris. Paris. Uh, what woman who passed away in 1997 has been on the cover of People magazine 57 times, more than any other person in history? Neil. Princess Diana. Yes. What tiny shrimp-like crustaceans are the main food source for all baleen whales? Yes, Daniel. Krill. Yes. Math question. If the length of the side of a square is doubled, what is the ratio of the area of the original square to the area of the new square? Yes, Omkar. Four to one? No. Uh, Rhode Island, you want to take a shot at this. Uh, Clara. One to four? Yes. Uh, what English duke defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815? Neil? Duke of Wellington. Yes, in 2017. What actress's uh, annotated script for the film Breakfast at Tiffany's sold for $846,619, a record amount for a script sold at auction? Yes, Frank. Capote. No, Rhode Island. You want to try, Christina? Audrey Hepburn. That is correct. Who served as the president of Russia for nearly all of the 1990s? Neil. Yeltsin. Yes. Uh, the Gemini constellation includes two prominent stars named after the twin sons of Zeus, Castor and who else? Yes, Neil. Pollux. Yes. Author John Green popularized what inspirational phrase abbreviated DFTBA? Daniel. Don't forget to be awesome. Yes. In 1971, Daniel Ellsberg leaked to the New York Times what classified study about the U.S. role in Vietnam. Yes, Daniel. The Pentagon Papers? Yes. In Roman mythology, Cupid was the son of what goddess of love? Michael. Venus. You're right. Uh, what pale yellow corrosive gas is the most electronegative and most reactive of all elements? Yes, Neil. Fluorine. Yes. Known for works like Appalachian Spring and Fanfare for the Common Man, what renowned musician was referred to by his critics and his peers as the Dean of American Composers? Yes, Ian. Copeland. Yes. Uh, what term beginning with the letter F refers to the official language of Iran? Yes, Ian. Farsi. Yes. In 1856, Millard Fillmore. Oh, Whew. that's the end of round one. The score right now, Massachusetts, 190 points. Rhode Island, 160 points. This is very close. <laughs> 
the head-to-head -head round is next, but we always like to take a little breather and to give the contestants a chance to answer a question. We're going to start with Massachusetts and uh, you, Ian. Uh, what is your biggest source of state pride and why? Uh, I have many, such as going to the beach, uh, Cape Cod, going into Boston with my friends and family, and it's just a really fun experience, a lot of different things to do, and I really like it here. All right, you, Frank? I would say the Boston sports teams because they're all so good. Mm -hmm. Neil? I'd say all the different weather, and it's uh, beautiful all times of year. So you like the New England weather, the mix, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, Omkar? I would say the academic opportunities that are available. Yeah, academic capital of the world, they say. Over to Rhode Island we go. And Daniel, what do you think? Rhode Island. Well, I'm proud that Roger Williams founded the state on the principle of religious tolerance. Okay, and Michael? I'm proud that we had the first openly gay elected mayor of a state capital. Mm-hmm. And Christina? I especially like the restaurants in Newport and Providence. Mm-hmm. Great restaurant town, Providence. Uh, Clara? I'm proud that we're one of six states in the union who currently have a female governor. All right. And well done, by the way. Teams, here's what happens now. We go head to head, all right? And that means each of you, all of you, right now, is coming forward and we're going head to head. Let's go. Okay, we are about to go head to head. I have Rhode Island to my left, Massachusetts to my right. Gentlemen, shake hands. We'll get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. Uh, the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. What legendary queen of Britain was married to King Arthur? Yes. Uh, going here. Yes. What water bird has an expandable throat pouch that can hold up to, yes? Pelican? Yes. Six of the world's nine most populated countries are located in what, yeah, uh, yes? Asia? Yes. In uh, 1994, who was sworn in as the first black president of South Africa? Yes. Nelson Mandela? Yes. In computer science, a byte is how many bits? Yes. Eight? Yes. In 2017, deadly wildfires ravaged Sonoma. California? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the Andes Mountains extend through seven uh, countries in, yes? South America? Yes. Uh, in the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Oh. Vampires? <laughs> <laughs> no, Cullen. Oxygen gas is colorless, but the liquid in solid forms a pale shade of what color? Blue. Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, sprang from the head of what god? Yes. Zeus? Yes. Anxiety over missing a social event is known by the acronym FOMO, which stands for? Fear of missing out. Yes. What city is home to the Prado, Spain's National Art Museum? Madrid. Uh, the term credibility gap was associated with Lyndon Johnson's handling of what war? Yes. Vietnam. Yes. Uh, what is the highest mountain in the state of Washington? Yes. Mount Whitney. No, Mount Rainier. Uh, what actor plays Neo in the 1999 film The Matrix? Reeves. Yes, Keanu Reeves. Uh, which planet uh, spins or rotates faster than any other planet in the solar? Venus. No, Jupiter. Uh, what English romantic poet wrote, she walks in beauty like the night? <sighs> That ends the round. Let's take a look at the score. Massachusetts right now, 230 points. Rhode Island, 200 points. This is very close. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. What on earth? You had me at Gutentag. Only mostly dead. Bastille Day. The Florida Project, and Becoming Jane. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Now, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We'll need your answer. Now, Rhode Island, you're a tiny bit behind, but you do get to pick the first category. What's it going to be? Bastille Day. Okay, Bastille Day. Questions about the French Revolution. And for 10 points, in France, under the old regime, uh, the Estates General was a representative assembly of uh, the three estates or classes in France. Uh, the nobility belonged to which estate? Yes, Frank. The second estate. Yes, you have got the board, Massachusetts. You had me at Gutentag. You had me at Gutentag. Questions about German words. And for 10 points, beginning as a royal wedding celebration in 1810, what annual 16-day folk festival draws more than 6 million visitors to Munich every September and October? 
Yes, Clara. Oktoberfest. That is correct. And now, Rhode Island, you've got the board. Category? Return to Bastille Day. Uh, back to Bastille Day, this time for 15 points. In October 1789, the Palace of Versailles was attacked by an angry mob of which of the following? A, nobles demanding greater privileges. B, women demanding bread. Or C, workers demanding higher wages. Yes, Michael. B. Uh, yes, correct. And you've still got the board, Rhode Island. Uh, Bastille Day. For 20 points. Louis the 16th and Marie Antoinette almost made it out of France alive. In June 1791, they were caught in the small French town of Varennes as they attempted to escape to what country? Yes, Michael. Germany. No, Massachusetts. You want to try it? Austria is the answer. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. Category? Uh, Bastille Day. For 25 points, uh, Maximilien Robespierre was a leader of what committee that gained near dictatorial control over France during the Reign of Terror? Yes, Neil. Committee of Public Safety. Yes, and you've got the board, Massachusetts category. Florida Project. The Florida Project questions about Florida. Uh, okay, for 10 points, in the late 1960s, Walt Disney acquired more than 25,000 acres of barren swampland in what Florida city and transformed it into the Magic Kingdom? Yes, Michael. Orlando. Orlando is right. Rhode Island, you've got the board category. Let's go back to Bastille Day. Uh, this time for 30 points, a famous portrait by Jacques-Louis David uh, depicts what French revolutionary lying dead in his bath after being murdered by Charlotte Corday? Yes, Michael. Murat. Yes, that's correct. In Rhode Island, you've got the board. You'll need a category. You had me at Gutentag. For 15 points. In 1939, Germany launched a surprise attack on Poland using what military tactic that means lightning war in German? Yes, Christina. Blitzkrieg. Correct. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. You had me at Guten Tag. For 20 points, roughly translated as malicious joy. What German word refers to the pleasure people get from the misfortune of others? Yes, Daniel. Schadenfreude. That is correct. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. Category? You had me at Guten Tag. Uh, 25 points. Uh, Nietzsche's concept of Superman, the superior person who justifies the existence of the human race, is also known by what German word? Yes, Frank. Ubermensch. Yes, and now you've got the board, Massachusetts. Category. You have me at Guten Tag. Uh, this time for 30 points, gang. Literally meaning time spirit. What German word refers to the general intellectual and cultural climate of an era? Yes, Michael. The zeitgeist. Yes, and now you've got the board, Rhode Island. You'll need a category. Only mostly dead. Only mostly dead. Questions about fictional characters who come back from the dead. And for 10 points on Game of Thrones, what Lord Commander of the Night's Watch is resurrected after being stabbed to death by some of his own men? Yes, Neil. Jon Snow. Correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. Only mostly dead. Only mostly dead for 15 points in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Harry is struck by the killing curse and ends up in limbo, which uh, looks like a ghostly version of what London train station? Yes, Christina. King's Cross. That is correct. In Rhode Island, you've got the board category. Only mostly dead. This time, 20 points. In Edgar Allan Poe's short story, The Fall of the House of Usher, what twin sister of Roderick Usher comes back from the dead? Madeline is the answer. Rhode Island, you've still got the board category. We'll stay only mostly dead. For 25 points, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. Mostly dead is slightly alive. Uh, Billy Crystal says this as what character in The Princess Bride who brings Wesley back to life? Miracle Max, the answer. Rhode Island, you've still got the board category. We'll finish only mostly dead. For 30 points, Gandalf the Grey is killed while protecting his companions in the Fellowship of the Ring, but he returns as Gandalf the White in what sequel? Yes, Neil. The Two Towers. Yes, and now Massachusetts, you've got the board. You will need a category. Becoming Jane, please. Okay, Becoming Jane. These are questions about famous women named Jane. For 10 points in 2017, Britain unveiled a new plastic 10-pound note featuring what author of the 1815 novel Emma? 
Yes, Daniel. Jane Austen. That is correct. Rhode Island, you've got the board again. Category? Becoming Jane. 15 points. In the 1960s, what British animal behaviorist made the groundbreaking discovery that chimpanzees make and use tools? Yes, Daniel. Jane Goodall. That is correct. Rhode Island, you've still got the board. Category? Becoming Jane. 20 points. Uh, what third wife of Henry VIII died just days after giving birth to Edward VI, the king's only legitimate son? Yes, Frank. Jane Seymour. Correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. Category? Becoming Jane. 25 points, best known for her role as Sue Sylvester in the television series Glee. What actress received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2013? Yes, Clara. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch is right. Rhode Island, you've got the board. Becoming Jane. 30 points. In 9 to 5, the second highest grossing film of 1980, who co-starred with Lily Tomlin and Dolly Parton as three secretaries who get even with their boss? Jane Fonda. Uh, the answer there. Rhode Island, you've still got the board. I need a category. What on earth? What on earth? Uh, questions about earth science for 10 points. What ancient Egyptian astronomer wrote about a geocentric or earth-centered model of the universe which would later be challenged by Copernicus? Yes, Michael. Eratosthenes? No, Massachusetts. You want to try it? Ptolemy is the answer there. And Rhode Island, you've still got the board. Category? Back to one on Earth. Okay, what on Earth for 15 points? Uh, dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago at the end of which of the following periods? A, uh, Cretaceous, B, Jurassic, or C, Cambrian? Uh, Michael. Cretaceous. That is correct. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. What on Earth? 20 points. Latin for a heap. What seven-letter word refers to puffy clouds that sometimes look like pieces of cotton? Neil. Cumulus. Correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. Category. What on earth? 25 points. Alarming levels of toxic pollutants have been found in what deep sea trench that stretches for more than 1,580 miles across the floor of the Pacific? Yes, Ian. Mariana Trench. That is correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. What on earth for 30 points? 30 points. Named after the French engineer who first described it, uh, what effect explains why water and wind seem to veer to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern? Yes, Frank. Coriolis. Yes, and only the one category left, the Florida Project, and for 15 points. Sometimes called a sea cow, what endangered animal is the official state marine mammal of Florida? Yes, Michael. Manatee. Correct. The Florida Project for 20 points. Known for hits like Free Fallen and I Won't Back Down. What rock musician from Gainesville, Florida, passed away in 2017 at the age of 66? Yes, Michael. Tom Petty. Tom Petty is right. And uh, the Florida Project for 25 points. Uh, what lake with a vast surface area of 730 square miles is the largest lake in Florida? Yes, Michael. Okeechobee. That is correct. Florida Project. Oh! That ends the category round. The score right now. Wow! Massachusetts, 425 points. Rhode Island, 440 points. This is very close. <laughs> Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. Teams, the clock is set. Good luck. Under William the Conqueror, the Normans defeated the English in 1066. At what battle? Yes, battle of Hastings. Yes. Uh, name the acid that gives the distinctive sour taste to lemons, limes, oranges. Yes, Michael. Citric acid. Yes. Less than a year after the Soviets launched Sputnik, what U.S. president? Yes, Neil. Eisenhower. Yes. Uh, Mariano Rajoy is the current prime minister of what country? Spain. In Shakespeare's Hamlet, Ophelia gives her brother what herb that's a symbol of remembrance? Rosemary. What twin brothers are the legendary founders of Rome? Yes, Neil. Romulus and Remus. Yeah, what outer layer of the tooth is the hardest substance? Yes, Neil. Enamel. Yes. Uh, Namaste is a greeting in what official language of India? Yes. Hindi. Yes. Uh, the Great Seal of the United States includes what Latin phrase meaning out of many? Yes. E pluribus unum. Yes. Dan Brown's new novel, Origin, features the return of what professor? Yes. Lingdon. Yes. Uh, what American composer wrote White Christmas, putting on the Ritz? Yes. Berlin. 
Yes. Uh, what Ukrainian city was the site of the worst nuclear power plant? Yes, Neil. Chernobyl. Yes. What Cleveland team is one of four NFL teams never? Yes, Michael. Browns. Uh, yes. Which glass animal? Laura's favorite breaks at the end of the glass menagerie by Tennessee Williams. Yes, Frank. Unicorn. Yes. In 1775, who was appointed the first postmaster general by the Continental? Yes. Benjamin Franklin. Yes. The Gobi Desert stretches across huge areas of, yes. China. Sorry. I'm sorry? China. No, Mongolia is the answer in 1847. Ah! Wow! Wow! What a game! But that is the end. And the winner, Massachusetts, with a score of 565 points. Oh my! The runner up, Rhode Island, 500. 40 points. Wow. Congratulations to both teams. That was a great game. Now, Massachusetts is going to move on to play in the Invitational Championship. So be sure to be tuning in. And we want everybody, and that means you too, back here next week for a high school quiz show. How about it, everybody? Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. <laughs> Production of WGBH.